capacity building over miracle soap, miracle water, <laughs> miracle money. I'm not going to be tired talking about this because I grew up in a community where miracle money, miracle soap, miracle water, that's what is dominant. Welcome again to another Common Sense with Freddy. My name is Coach Wilfred Asuko. I am a capacity builder. I am a tech professional, tech consultant, if you must say. I'm also a certified John Maxwell coach, the founder of Z Worldwide, a virtual coaching platform. So today I want to reiterate, you can't make money of miracle soap, miracle money, miracle water, name them. You, it, it doesn't work. See, you can only make money when you produce a good or you provide a service. So you get paid in exchange of those. For example, if you're creating a content on YouTube, that is a value you are adding. YouTube gets to pay you. That has nothing to do with miracle. No. As a matter of fact, there's nothing like miracle. Miracle is a nomenclature. You can call that something else, but I mean, it's a nomenclature. It was man that named whatever you call miracle, miracle. Okay? So, the only way you can make a living is when you have a skill, when you have a trait, when you have a product that you're selling. That's the only way you can make a living. I understand we grew up in the society or in the community in Africa whereby we are being told that you make money when you serve God. And serving God means going to the religious centers. Yes. Going to do his work by evangelism, going to sing in the choir, going to pray in prayer band. That's what we're meant to understand, serving God. They believe you're going to be successful or you're going to make money when you bring a certain percentage of your income or your earnings, come and bring it to the pastor, believing that you're giving it to God. I need you guys to reason these actions if it really makes any sense. How would you tell somebody or how would you train your child to believe that when you bring a certain amount of money to a religious center and drop it with a pastor who represents God, that the child is going to have a double fold. It doesn't make sense. I expect that a child should be trained on what is income, what is expenditure, what is asset, what is investment, how to invest their little earnings in an asset which will generate revenue or income if you tell me that then that is quite possible but if you tell me the other way around that's more of magic or miracle that we've all been made to understand and to believe again it still boils down to the awareness that we have some of our parents didn't know any better but this is 2024 we are trying our best to inform, educate, synthesize a lot of our, you know, young youths and young individuals who are willing to learn and grow. And this is all capacity building. You may have attended college, you studied a particular field, that doesn't make you 100% professional. You need other aspects of life to be able to be, you know, rounded. Because by the time you start making money and you leave off the narrative that when you take the 10% of your earnings and you take it to, you know, a certain religious center and then you're going to have a hundredfold, I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works. Don't get me wrong. There is a principle, a financial principle that I once read in a book titled The 12 Stupid Mistakes People Make With Money. It does say that you can send 10% of your income to charity. That means regardless, you're supposed to help, 
you know, support charity. But the focus should be if you want to multiply and increase your earnings, basically should be investment. Investment. Get a financial advisor. Get investment um, coach. Get investment professional who would guide you on how to invest your earnings and possibly increasing your capacity on how to pull in more financial earnings. That's the only way out. So for those of us that are still seeking um, financial freedom by you know, buying miracle soap from all these religious leaders that are selling soaps or selling holy water or uh, promising you some miracle money that you will wake up in 24 hours, you're gonna see them. I am so over it and I will not stop talking about it and countering this side of narrative because that is making our youths very lazy. This narrative is leaving a very negative impact in our society and community. This is making our youth to lack the capacity building drive to helping them maximize their potentials. So how will the society, how will the community, how will the African nation grow if we all live off miracles? What helps us to grow is STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. I have said this over and over again. And for you to practice science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, that is the real capacity building. Are you ready to learn? Are you ready to increase your capacity? Are you ready to give value in exchange of the money you're looking for? That's the way to go. See you all at the top because the bottom is crowded.